Hello, I'm Maury Reese. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to save the changes you make in your keyboard. And the keyboard is a Yamaha PSR E463, a nice little portable keyboard. There are dozens and dozens of things that one can set up on your keyboard. The issue is, if you go in and make all of these settings, and you don't save them somewhere, when you turn off your keyboard, they all disappear instantly. So what I'm going to show you is how you can go in and make all of these dozens of different changes in the keyboard and save them so that with one press of one finger, you can call back all of those settings. And you can set up 32 memory locations to do this. So in essence, that's like setting up 32 songs with the style and the voice and the transpose and the reverb and everything you can imagine. Set it up so that with one press of one finger, you can call up any one of those 32 songs instantly. If that's something that would be useful to you, just keep watching. So I've created a dozen slides to kind of explain what's going to happen and how this all works. So once again, this is how to save your settings on a Yamaha PSR E463 keyboard. And this is for anyone who owns one, or maybe you're one of those people that are thinking about buying a keyboard and you're, you're looking at YouTubes to figure out what can this little keyboard do. So this is a close-up look at the keyboard. When I play a song, normally what I do is I press the style button and then using the keypad or the wheel, I dial in a style. And then I come and I press the voice button and using the keypad or the wheel, I select one of the over 700 voices. And then I can transpose it up here and I can turn on the dual voice and once I want to save all of that, we're going to come into this section and let me show you where we're going to go. This is the heart of the matter. This is where we're going to be able to store all of these settings that we make. And I'll explain this in great detail. So there's a bank button and then there are four memory slots numbered one, two, three, four. So just bear with me and I'll explain how this all works. You have a total of 32 registration memory slots into which you can save your keyboard settings. And I'll explain what, what you can save in just a moment. But that's important to know. You've got 32 slots and that's it. Once you filled up the 32, you can't add any more. You can go back and overwrite any one of the 32 and put something else in there, but 32 is the magic number. 32 registration memory slots. Let's think of this as walking into a uh, closet and think of the registration memory slots as boxes on a shelf and you can put things in those boxes. Okay, you got that, that in your mind? So here's the deal. You know that there's 32. They don't call them shelves, they call them banks. So these 32 registration memory slots are divided up into eight banks, and each bank has four memory slots. So four times eight, there's the 32. So I call up a bank and then I press a number to indicate which slot in that bank do I want to go to. That's the way this whole thing works. So I'll be pressing the bank key and then I'll be hitting a one, two, three, or four to indicate where do I want to store. And once again, I've got 32 of these things, eight times four. Okay. 
Yesterday, when I created my YouTube on how to create a pipe organ, I had to make 21 different settings altogether to create the sound of a pipe organ. It took me several hours to figure that all out. And unfortunately, after I'd done all of that work, the minute I turned off my keyboard, I lost everything. All of that work was gone because I didn't save it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can save all of the settings that you may want to make. When I was creating the pipe organ, these are the things I had to set up. There were over 21 of them, and I had to go through each one of these and uh, go in and, and set the numbers. And once again, when I turned off my keyboard, this all went away. I'm going to be showing you how I could have saved all of this work. That's important for most of us. If you're going to go to all the work to set up our keyboard to sound a certain way, we certainly don't want to lose it. So this begs the question, what can you save into these 32 registration memories? And the answer is lots of stuff. You can save all of your style settings, your groove settings. You can save your voice settings and anything you may do to that voice. You can save your dual voices and your split voices, all of the special effects, the reverb and the echo and everything. You can save the harmony settings and the arpeggios, which I talked about in another video. You can save your DSP, which is your digital signal processing settings. And uh, there are other things. If you change the key, transpose your keyboard, you can save that. The split point, that determines where, where do I split the keyboard into two pieces. You can choose where to do that and you can save it. The pitch blend. So you can save dozens and dozens of things into these 32 memory slots. So let's imagine this. Let's imagine uh, I've been invited to go play at, at a cocktail party. And, and I certainly have. I live in a uh, community here in Florida, and there's lots of old people like me, and we have cocktail parties and dances, and I've been asked to play many times. So if I were getting ready to go play for a cocktail party, I don't want to have to sit there in front of all of my friends in the audience and, and fumble around and be pressing a bunch of buttons on my keyboard to call up the different songs. And my audience is going to get bored really quick. I want to be able to press one key and instantly set the keyboard for the next song. So if the average song is three minutes, and if I have 32 memory slots, that's about an hour and a half worth of songs that I can put into my memory. And I can instantly go from one song to the next in less than one second, by pressing one button with one finger. That's what this is all about. So in a minute, I'm going to turn the cameras on me at the keyboard, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend that I'm setting up for that cocktail party. And uh, I have come up with a list of the 32 songs that I want to play during the party. And I have already figured out exactly what style and what voice I want to use for every one of those 32. So I'm going to do this live for you. I'm going to put into memory slot number one this setting, a bachata. And in memory slot number two, I'm going to set a Viennese waltz. And in memory slot number three, I'm going to have a little swing and jazz. And in memory slot number four, I'm going to have a little bluegrass. Now, I'm not going to bore you by doing all 32 memory slots. Uh, after I've done three or four, you would get bored and just quit watching. I'm only going to do the first four because once you've seen one or two, you will instantly understand just how easy this is. So I'll set up these four, and then I'm going to turn off my keyboard just to prove that it really is stored. I'll turn it back on, and I'll call these up, and I'll play a little bit of them. So that's what we're going to do.
Let's go do it live. All right, here we are at the keyboard, and I'm ready to set up my four songs and store them each into the registration memory. Here's my style key, here's my voice key, my numeric pad and my wheel to select the style and voice. Uh, I'm also going to transpose each song so that I don't end up with all four songs in the same key, which is kind of boring. All right, I've got my little cheat sheet here that tells me what style and what voice I want for each of the four songs that I'm going to store. So number one is bachata, and it is style one, four, two. And it says bachata. So I've got my style. Now I want to set the voice. So I press voice, and it turns out I want number 109. 109 which is Sweet Trumpet. Okay, on the transpose, I'm going to set that at minus two. And now, I want to set the main volume, the volume of my trumpet, my uh, voice, to full volume, 127. So I'm set. I've got the style, I've got the voice, I've got the key, I'm ready to store it into memory location number one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold the bank key and then reach out and press number one. Ready? Bank one. And the message says, memory okay. I have successfully stored the first song in memory location one. Now I'm going to go to set up song number two, which is a Viennese waltz. So I press style, and I want style number 189, 189, Viennese waltz. And I want strings in my right hand on the voice. So I'm pressing voice, 078, 078. That's the string. And I'm going to transpose that. And now I want to set volume so that my strings are nice and loud, I'm ready. I'm going to store that in memory location two. So I press bank two, and it says memory okay. Now I'm going to go to song number three, which is a little rhythm and blues jazz. And I want style zero nine zero, which is called BB medium. And I want a breathy tenor saxophone. So I want voice 103. 103. Breathy tenor sax. And I'm going to transpose that a little bit. Now I want to go set my main volume so that my saxophone is full volume. And I'm ready to store that in memory location 3. So I'm going to press bank three. I hold the bank, bank three, and it says memory okay. I've got the first three songs stored. I'm ready for my last song, which is a bluegrass song. So I press style, and I want style number 127. One, two, seven, which is bluegrass. And now I want a 12-string guitar in my right hand in my voice. So I press voice, and it's 047, 047, 12-string guitar. Now I'm going to transpose that up, raise it a little bit. And then finally I'm going to go in and set the main volume. That's the volume of the voice. I want that. 12 string guitar to be nice and loud. All right, I've got everything set. I'm ready to store that in memory location four. So I press bank four. Got it. I'm done. I've got everything programmed. Now, just to prove that it's really there, I'm going to reach up and I'm going to turn off my keyboard. Ready? I'm pressing. 
key and my keyboard is turned off. Now, now I'm turning it back on. All right. So it's time to go to the cocktail party. And uh, the first song is that bachata. And so that is in memory location number one. So I'm going to reach out and press bank. And the number that comes up is one. So that should call up the bachata. And uh, I'm going to uh, set it up to start playing. So here we go. Okay, and so on, so on, so on. So I'm done with that song. Now I want the Viennese waltz. So all I'm going to do is with one finger, I'm going to reach out and press number two. Click, and that should be the Viennese waltz. Here we go. so far so good and then I want to go to my third song and that is in memory location number three so with one finger I reach out and I press three and this is the uh, swing and jazz blackbird the 1940s song my parents danced to and now the last one is a little bluegrass and that's in storage number four so i reach out with one finger and i press four and here we go
four songs stored in memory, and all I have to do is take one finger and press one, two, three, or four. And I can store up to 32 songs in the registration memory. Hope you've enjoyed this. If this is useful to you, leave me a comment and let me know, and I'll make some more. Be well.